Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do a flip through of three back to school themed junk journals that are available in my Etsy shop. Um, if you do follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I did some quick kind of flip throughs of each of the journals. Um, there were three others that have been purchased, um, but I needed to get those in the mail before I had a chance to make the YouTube video. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, I usually post things there first. Um, my handle on Instagram is 11 Dancing Dandelions. So if you want to follow me there, you can see things um, probably a little bit faster than on YouTube. So we'll go ahead and do um, a flip through of each of these. Like I said, they are already available in my Etsy shop if you're interested in purchasing them. And if you have any questions about anything, just let me know in the comments below and I will get back to you and try to answer them. So the first one was created from a vintage little golden activity book. It's called Count to 10. And it's got this little spinning wheel here um, really cute graphics. This one's from the 50s. It's, let's see, 1957 is the copyright. So it's a typical little golden book, about six by eight dimensions with a two inch spine, three signatures. I did put some buttons on the spine just for some decoration and I left the back cover and the inside cover just in its natural condition. A lot of times I cover, I like kind of the scrapbooky look, so I cover the front and back covers and sometimes even the, the back of the back cover. But this one was in really good shape and I felt like it went with the look of the book. And also this little wheel here kind of made it a little bit different. So, all right, let's take a peek. I will try not to take too much time, but I want to go into some more details than I did on my Instagram. So there's fabric covering the spine and trim, and there are some book pages in this book, um, many of them, but I don't believe all of them are in there. Um, I did reinforce the pages with washi tape that's back to school themed. There's a library card pocket here that is just paper clipped in so you can put it wherever you like. I made several quilted patchwork um, fabric pockets. Some of this is vintage fabric, some of it's newer. Um, I think this was I bought, um, I think it was told to me that it was feedback fabric, but I'm not 100%. Anyway, in the pocket there's this little um, game playing card, a uh, little postmaster seal of vintage postcard that's empty or blank, and a piece of stationery with some apples on it. Like with all of my journals, I tried to do some decorating but also leave a space for you. The idea is I'd, I hope that my decorating just kind of gets you started and then you can kind of take it from there and make it all the more decorated with the final outcome. Okay, so this is a, a seal and send postalette and a vintage milk cap. For the tabs, I did some, some stitching and collaging of fabrics, kind of give it more layered effect. All of these images are true vintage images that I fussy cut from our catalog sewing pattern catalog. Um, they're all throughout the book. These are some reproduction Dick and Jane seal and sends. This is from a, a vintage reader. Some handwriting paper. Just some stationery with pencils. This is uh, a vintage book page. This is just washi taped in, and I usually, whenever I use washi tape, I use glue, but in this case, I did not, in case you want to take this off and make it into, pick a side and then put some paper on the back, make it a journaling card or a tuck spot or a pocket or something, it's kind of versatile. If you wanna leave it like this, like a flip, I would add some, take this off and add some glue there just to make sure it's good and strong. I think that this one might be feed sack fabric also. And then on, I believe on the ones that are remaining, I believe I put buttons on the inside, but these are not tied, so you can take them off if you don't like them there. 
This is just an image from a reader that I made into a pocket with some extra pieces of scrapbook paper that you could turn into um, tags or photo mats, whatever you want to use, and just a vintage index with a tab. Some brick rack and stickers just to give it some decoration. A lot of times I put, this is some of that kind of starched fabric ribbon. Um, for the thinner paper, I like to put things on the edge just because you're, you're moving it back and forth a lot and I don't want it to rip. So a lot of times you'll see that I put something on the edges of the papers when they're thin. And it also gives us some decoration. And then I made some handmade tags. I think that this was a fly leaf page from a book. I don't remember which which book it was from, but I, I think that's what it was from. And then another one of those um, counter catalog little girls that I fussy cut out. You can journal on the back, add more collage to the front of this if you'd like. This is some of that um, computer paper that has the perforated dots. And then a vintage coaster, some vintage ledger. This is the other part of the postalette. This is a printable from KB and Friends. Any of the printables I used in any of the journals was purchased from KB and Friends. This is just um, an image from a, a vintage uh, dictionary children's dictionary and again more paper to use as photo mats or make your own tags or tucks or pockets just I like to include as much coordinating paper as I can so you can use it when you're making your own some I can't remember what this is called I want to say like stenograph or I, I don't remember what this is called but this is vintage paper and a, a little dime this is really pretty vintage trim and this is typewriter paper. I believe this is typewriter paper. I know this is resume paper, so it's really nice texture. And then I did leave part of this unglued so you can use it as a tuck spot if you want. This is from um, a lot of images I get from, I've taken from this book, this Corrine Malvern's Mother Goose book. So it's a really cute, it's kind of a side note. It's got a lot of really cute illustrations in it. So this image is fussed to cut from, I believe from that book. I also have child craft books that I get images from. And some music paper. This is a progress report from 19, the year 1956 to 1957. And it's kind of just fun little ephemera to have in there. You could collage on this or just kind of keep it to, to look at. You could just paper clip things over this, whatever you'd like to do. And this is from another science, this is from a vintage science book of some sort. Another pocket with some printables from KB and Friends. This is a vintage dictionary page. If you want, you could close this into a pocket, um, you know, tape or glue these sides down and make a pocket here or leave it how it is. And this is a double pocket with an image from a reader and some playing cards, some play money, a vintage postcard, and a printable flash card. And then the back I just stitched. Most of the stitching that I do in the journals, I I don't know why it bothers me when the stitching goes to the other side, but I like the look of the stitching. So if you're making your own journals and you haven't, um, I mean, I'm not the first one to, to bring this up at all by any means, but um, if you like the look of stitching, like, like I like the look of it, but I don't like how it goes to the back page, you can just stitch it on your sewing machine and then glue it down so that it looks like it was stitched on but it, you don't have the stitching on the other side. Here's another journaling card. Try it a little bit faster. The other part of the um, report card. Some music note paper.
one more signature to go here at the end. The illustrations in this book are just so cute. I might have used all the pages on this book. I can't remember. My memory is... I made six of these, so I, I don't remember what I did for which <laughs> journal. There are a lot of the pages from the book in this. Um, a vintage Denison seal label here and a bingo and some tickets. And then these are cool. These I found on Etsy from a seller. They're chemical engineering and they're the size of an index card. So I thought that they would be fun to alter. I got them in a few different colors. I don't think, I think I looked in the seller. I don't remember where I purchased those from, but I think I went back and looked and there were no more of those left. But if you are interested in those and you want to know where I got them, just send me a message and or a comment and I will look it up. I don't remember. This is a um, teacher's like record book, I guess. Um, it says about av absences, the daily average, the tests, the average. Um, where you would write the the names and then kind of for the days some flash card and some vintage trim this is a view master and a flash card another handmade tag and some more ledger this is a double belly band so I just put this as a, a card from the journal or from the scrapbook line and then a vintage postcard this one's from 1940 or envelope, I think it's a postcard, I mean envelope. And another book page, again, with the washi tape. More vintage ledger and ticket, and this is a little applique. Tracing paper. Um, just some fun little pieces of ephemera, another library card. This is from another dictionary book that I just made into a journaling tag <clears throat> and this is from a reader so this is a, a pocket but I made it so that it flipped out so you, this is I think a great place to put more pictures and then this is just a little tuck and then there's um, music Flash card. This one's from 1952. Some play money and another one of those replica seal and sun. The Dick and Jane. And lots of ledger. Writing space. Like I said, if you have any questions, let me know um, and we'll, we'll move on. So this next one is pretty cool. This one, um, I think that the copyright, if I'm going by my memory, it was 1917. So this one's really old, but um, it was in pretty good shape for its age. That's over a hundred years, but um, it's about seven and three fourths by five and a quarter. And I think around an inch and a half spine, yeah. Again, I put buttons on the spine. They're just for decoration. And the back looks the same as the front. I did leave the end papers in the book, the original end papers. And again, I reinforced with washi tape. Here's a library card pocket. There is some writing here, but it's in pencil. So if you don't like that, then you can erase it. And some more sewing pattern um, fussy cuts. I love this trim. I don't have very much of this trim left. It's so cute. You get a label, some labels and money. More fussy cut images. Ledger paper. This is a double pocket with some tickets and money. Another one of those chemistry cards and a flash card. A little library card and another label. This is an envelope that I put another card in, and then 
So there's a pocket and then there it's also a tuck. And there's a vintage postcard here tucked in there. Just so you know it's a tuck. And then here I took some images from the counter catalog and just made a side loading pocket here. Put some stationery in there. There are a few pages from the book, um, but not all. I will send the rest of the pages with the book. This is a tuck spot. This is a playing card. A little tuck spot here. And again, you can put journaling or pictures on the inside flap of this. And then some more ephemera, some book pages. So a lot of similar things just kind of arranged in different ways. For this journal, these are the tags that I've made and they're just paper clipped in. And then the same ephemera. So you won't spend too much of your time. And some stickers. Same thing with the um, collaged tabs. I really like how that looks. And this is one of those education, edu cards. They're definitely in worn condition. Another tag here. These are just paper clipped in. This is paper clipped in too because I couldn't decide where to put this. So I just paper clipped it in. And then another book page. I slid in here. You could make into a journaling card or a tuck spot or something like that. All of the numbers of pages are in the Etsy listing. If it's something that you're interested in purchasing, I don't, I don't, well, I don't know. I might have it written down somewhere, but it's better if you just check out the listing. It'll tell you the measurements and the number of pages. There's a mixture of newer and vintage things in each of the books. I like this. I like how this one turned out. Just the colors and her cute expression. And then this one has some aging on the pages. And so that's Peter Rabbit Goes to School. And then the last one is from just a little um, Junior Elf book. This is a single signature. Much smaller. This one is about six and a half or six and a quarter by four and a quarter and an inch spine. But I did put some buttons down the spine here. Um, the cover does show wear and aging, if you can see that. And then on the inside pages, I left the inside um, covers as they are because they have cute illustrations on them. And this one is just a little bit less decorated. I do need to put a library card in here. I forgot to do that. I will do that. And a lot of things paper clipped in. There's some trims. A lot of the same ephemera. There's some wrapping paper and some trim. Some playing card and some money. And then these um, index cards I thought were cool. They have some colored lines on them. Another vintage playing card, and bingo card, library card, and a vintage playing card. So this one is definitely pretty customizable with everything, most things being paper clipped in. Some buttons in the middle. It is one signature, so it's a little bit more it's easy to fill up one signature journals i think this is just an image from a reader and some more scrap of paper and play money one of those um from the 50s, the little music index, the flashcards, and a little playing card. 
and that is the end of that one so um, these are the three school back to school themed journals that I have that are in my Etsy shop if you're interested and like I said if you have any questions about how anything was done or what something was just send me a message or leave a comment and I will get back to you thank you have a good day